Hello and good evening for the second time this evening. Um, okay, so I'm going to talk about um, yet another piece of evidence that intelligent life has either once been upon Mars, is on Mars, or both. Okay. Um, there's definitely been intelligent life on Mars at some time. Maybe it's gone. Maybe it's still there. Okay, but, you know, and it's not just myself, but there's like so much. There's so much. And, I, and I've waded through so many um, pieces of information where people are showing um, NASA's very own photographs, NASA's very own work, you know. Um, where these anomalies, uh, so excuse the pronunciation, um, are, are clearly there. Okay. Now, in my personal journey through these, um, you know, pictures and what have you, um, I think a lot of them are silly, yeah, and a lot of them are embarrassing. But you know, there's a few that really stand out. For my channel, I only select the few that I think there's something in it. I mean, like, you get people that say, oh, you know, here's a rock in the shape of a, a whatever thing that they think they see in it, and I don't see it, you know. I, I, it just looks like a rock to me, you know, and it's, it's a little embarrassing, you know. I think it gives everyone who's got a passion for, you know, researching the planets of the solar system and looking for things and what have you, it gives kind of everyone a bad name, but hey. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with this one. And uh, if you look through uh, some of the previous videos I've, uh, I've on my channel, um, I've, I've picked some real corkers for uh, you know some some real interesting things you know that that really get you to think you know and that they, they, they really do look unnatural you know. Um, so that's what we're looking for: is things that look unnatural, things that look artificial, things that look intelligently designed. Um, you know, signs of, um, of of life on Mars, you know, um, well, and the moon and wherever, wherever we can find it, really. Okay, so let's have a look at the, the latest thing. Okay, I'm going to share screens. I'll show you something very interesting. Okay, this is a good one. Not the best. I still think that figure that I found on the uh, rock is... is so I still think about that now, you know. But um, yeah, this is a good one. Okay, right. So we're sharing screens now. I'm going to take you to um, the photojournal.jpl.nasa.gov. Okay, go there a lot. Hang on, let's 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 go there. All right. Okay. So here it is. I'm going to put the link in the description. So this is the picture we're looking at, PIA 17931, Martian Valley, uh, Martian Valley, Martian Valley, okay, um, en route, here's the details of the situation of the rover, okay, now, if you click on one of these, you get the image, which I've done, okay, Okay, so how here here we can zoom in a little bit. So I think it's about here. So I'm gonna zoom in. Right now, I'm not gonna say anything for a few seconds. So I wanna like the power of suggestion. Have a look. And what do you see? Okay. Now okay, I'm gonna tell you what I see. I see where my mouse is here. Okay, now look at that. Right, now this to me looks like an eye, a cheekbone, looks like a mouth, a nose. I'm looking at a half a face, okay? Now, what I'm not able to do, and there are people that can, let's go to another video that someone else has made on YouTube. Okay, let's just enlarge this. No, it's not easy to that. Okay, right, so here we go. So what they've done, they've, they, they've not added anything to the image except mirror it so, so we can get like you know get, get some perspective right so we get the other side of the face this is it turned on it turned right way up okay this here is very interesting they say it's like a plinth 
does look artificially crafted as well. Okay, so let's reconstruct the face, it says. And there you go. All right, let's pause it right there. Okay, so you see what's happened here? Um, all they've done, right, is this is the image on this side on the left. Okay, so we've just like mirrored it so that we get a full face. Okay, so nothing's being buggered around with. Um, it's, it's, you know, it is the original image. Okay, no doubt they've like messed around with the contrast and what have you just to kind of get a clear image. But look what we have. We've got eyes, very detailed eyes. Okay, look at the detail in that face. It looks almost like a cat type humanoid. Um, you know, it almost looks like whiskers there or something. It's a very big sort of mouth area, almost like a cat. Um, very strange. But look at that, a very well-defined nose, very well-defined forehead. Um, just, how strange is that? Now, could that be nature? What are the odds? What are the odds of nature just kind of creating something like that by sheer accident? It just so happens to look like a human face. Um, I don't think so. So there you have it. Okay. So what do you think? Let's go back to the original image. So there it is. That's NASA's very own photograph. Okay, the zoom out. That's NASA's very own photograph on NASA's own website. So I'll put the links for you, and you decide, you be the judge, you decide for yourself. Cheerio.